Hello everybody, Monty Reed here playing Escape from Tarkov, playing as Hectoplasm, and today I'm going to be doing a live stream of hatchet runs on the interchange map. Just going to check the sound because we've had uh, sound issues. It looks like we've got good sound over here. And um, we're just going to do a hatchet run. Only thing I need is the... There we go. So I'm going to um, possibly go and do cash register, an idea, uh, but also the other thing I'm looking for on interchange is going to be the um, Ushanka hats and the cowboy hats. And I've heard that you can find them on the mannequins. So we are going to find out. <clears throat> I'm thinking... Maybe I should have brought some bullets, but uh, the last few rounds I have found plenty of bullets, so um, it's kind of a, a challenge when with a hatchet run on such a large map as Interchange, because from any great distance, uh, it's going to be very difficult to close in and take out a target. The map like Factory, for instance, is a little bit easier to... Um, contact a target and actually take them down and get their guns but nice thing about hatchet runs is uh, you don't have anything at risk just your time and so uh, it's been a few hours since I played so I just want to get warmed up with a hatchet run and uh, once I get warmed up then I might go in armed but for now we're gonna stream a hatchet run and so I've been playing for a little more than three weeks and I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. And so far the feedback I've been getting from people, uh, you all have been enjoying my videos, so I'm glad that you are enjoying it. Just checking the live feed over here, that's what I keep looking at, so I'm to make sure that it is running fine. Yes, good, it's working. And so I have two maps, or one main map that I use for interchange. I had two maps that I used for the database um, quest. But I'm done with database, and now I'm just focused on a hatchet run. And so that'll be the main uh, interchange map, which I've already put the link in the description. The thing I like about this uh, online map is you can click on it and it will zoom in and you click on it again and it will zoom back out. So when I'm looking at the big picture when I first land, I will look at the upper left hand corner of the map to figure out where I'm at. And you have to do a thing called orienteering, orienteering where you orient yourself based on the landmarks, what's around you, and the map. And so you're looking for key things. The building itself is one of the biggest landmarks. And there's signs on the building. So you know the north end has Idea, south end it has Oli. So the green Oli is uh, the south end, and the uh, yellow and blue is the Idea on the north end. It's basically like an Ikea store. And then you have uh, the west side of the map is very wide with uh, freeway lanes as well as a very large parking lot and then the east side of the map is very skinny there's a little bit of grassy area and a single road and so that's how you identify those two northwest corner has a large construction site uh, an off-ramp from the freeway as well as trains uh, train tracks and then of course the southeast corner just has a single road and some tents and um, then the northeast corner has the power station. And the southeast corner uh, has, or sorry, southwest corner has uh, the parking, or not parking, but uh, the lot with the uh, containers and trucks. So this is the northwest corner, my X fill, the southeast. I didn't bring even a bag. I probably should have brought a bag, but it's going to be 
hard to carry very many um, cowboy hats or shankas. I really should have brought a large bag with me. Don't even have room for cornflakes. That's pretty bad. So, one of the things that we know just from where I have spawned in in the past, I'm spawning in the northwest corner, there's somebody else that's spawned in over there, and all the way down there, so I don't remember how many players spawn into this particular map, but you can be assured that they are most, for the most part, everyone is running towards the building, because that's where all the action is. figure I might as well go around the north end and try to get that key from the bus. Parking structure can be dangerous. I don't worry about my stamina running out as I get in front of the open area here. So, I'll try to use the buses cover from the parking structure and also opportunity to hopefully find a key. Plenty of bullets if I can just get um, some guns now. And there is no key. Bummer. Wait a minute. Yeah. My stamina is fully recovered. Let's see if we can get in here. I still don't know the easy way to get to the uh, escalator stairwells. Oh my gosh. No. That was no, bad. That was really bad. Wow. I've got concealment in the tent here, but no cover. I gotta make sure if when I strike, I strike high. If it comes to that open window, I'm done. There's no way to jump through a window. There might be, but I haven't figured it out. Try to get him in the head. Oh. Oh. I know I hit him twice, but wasn't enough. I think the lag kind of hurt me a little bit. We'll see. But he had a clear head, no helmet. Could have been a really good, could have been a good kill. <laughs> 44 points. Wow. Okay, now let's uh, get that ammo out of my pouch and let's get back in there for another hatchet run. right back in the interchange. I'm choosing the daylight hours. Nothing to ensure because I just have my hatchet. Let's 
see, we've got a couple people watching. I hope that you're enjoying my hatchet run through Interchange. That uh, encounter with the scab, I'm not sure how I could have done better. Usually a third strike would have taken him down. Uh, two hits, uh, you know, there might have been a little bit of lag. But as my plan was uh, to have him walk into the doorway and strike him, maybe I could have waited for him to step in to the tent instead of me stepping out. That's the only thing I think that I could have done differently is maybe just be patient and wait just another second for him to step inside the tent. One of the things about stepping out is if there were any other scavs, I exposed myself to get um, get blasted by him. Okay, we got some rain. That um, rain gives you a little more concealment. I was surprised that the concealment in the tent uh, really did protect me. If the scab knew I was there or if it was a player, they could have shot me through the tent because the tent doesn't give you any cover. It does give you concealment. And so the rain gives you concealment from the noise. Uh, when it is raining, you can run a little more safely with not having to worry so much about people uh, hearing you. So again, this is Monty Reed playing Escape from Tarkov as Hectoplasm. And let's see, this looks like the northwest corner again. And you know, I, I should have brought a duffel bag of some kind, but of course, then I'm at risk of losing it, so. That's a pretty bad lag. I'm just gonna hope to get a bag off of my first target. here. Take a look at the map. be somebody from that far corner running towards me now I'm trying to get to that bus before I do because there's a key I've only found one key there Ammo. No key. Bummer. So, considering where that guy was last time, there's a chance he's going to be in the same spot. 
don't know how the random scab generator works. Make sure I got more stamina. Could be a player just coming out of nowhere. Listen for that scab. Found me. I don't hear him, but I sure got shot. without any armor of any kind. <laughs> pretty irritating. Usually when you get inside the garage it uh, is not so loud. <laughs> was it might have been a player that shot at me I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to get up into the store there's medical equipment up there Hoping that would have been a pistol. No idea where that guy was that shot at me. Well, try to get into the next tent. Still bleeding, like losing blood because I don't have bandages. It's one of the reasons bandages are so important. My guy's gonna bleed out. Southeast or power station. I don't have any money. I hear yelling. There's a 
chance I can find a medical kit in here. Yeah, I might bleed to death before. Uh... <coughs> yeah, that's too bad. I hear yelling. I don't remember where the medical kits are, but I've got to find something fast. There's a rumor these lockers might have stuff in them. <coughs> oh, I'm getting shot at. <sighs> have some medical equipment but <coughs> you know like a band-aid the bandage is the thing that I need that's why I'm bleeding out I'm about to die I'm gone <coughs> gonna fade out and just <coughs> 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 Maybe I can get some cash out of the cash register, huh? I mean, I'm going to die anyway, right? made it to the uh, power station, I'd have cash now to extract. But this guy is almost gone. I might as well get as much cash as I can. I mean, I was dead anyway, right? So...
Well, when I knew that I was going to die, I figured why not go ahead and get as much cash as possible, right? And I got a little experience too, which is great. So let's see how much cash we got. We got cash, we got ammunition. Didn't get a chance to get any cowboy hats or ushankas, but that's all right. We're still doing hatchet runs in um, hatchet runs in the interchange. Got some ammo that'll probably keep all the ammo. And then some gun parts. And then here we got 9,000 rubles. That's pretty decent. So we'll put that 9,000 rubles in this wallet. And I should probably bring a med kit, right? Maybe a bag. Yeah, I don't know. I think if I'm going to use a bag, I'll get it off of somebody. I'll get a car, medical kit, or out of kits. So let's go to therapist and get a car kit. So I really like the hatchet runs mainly because there's no risk and it helps you to get over uh, gear fear. And um, then you can use hatchet runs to collect gear. Uh, if you manage to land a hatchet and uh, make a kill so that you can get their gear, then you have some guns and armor and such. Nice thing about a hatchet um, run is if you do get them in the head, then a lot of times their body armor is not damaged at all. So you'll get some really decent um, armor vest. And uh, sometimes they have a helmet and you manage to get them. But very often you're getting them with the hatchet because they don't have a helmet. But that was a pretty decent run with uh, 8,000 rubles and a handful of ammo and a few gun parts. So, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, probably 28 to 30,000 rubles just off of that. I didn't look at what type of ammo it was, but some ammo sells for 64 rubles per round, and there's, I think, 16 rounds in most of those boxes. So, 60 times 10, that's 600. Some of the ammo that I picked up on runs sells for 200 rubles per wrapped. And then some of those gun parts, I didn't look at them very closely, but some of them go for five or 10,000 rubles each. So could have been as little as 10,000, uh, as much as 30. I do want to try to get a cowboy hat or an Ushanka, but the cash registers are always a, a decent <laughs> thing, especially if you're fatally wounded. And I mean, it was already red fading. My head was at zero when I left the bathroom before I went to the first cash register. So, you know, that was pretty, pretty decent to be able to uh, save the round by collecting cash out of the cash registers.
So this will probably be the, be the last uh, hatchet run on this round. Later uh, today, probably, well, I'm not sure what time, but later today I'll, I'll go in and do some armed runs on interchange with uh, either a scab backpack or probably a scab backpack and try to get um, some Ushankas and cowboy hats. So I think I need seven of each. Okay, so Northwest and Power Station are my exfil. We know our current insertion point is the south east corner. We know that that corner uh, over there with the ramp is pretty dangerous. There's usually always some scavs there. So there's a chance that I will encounter some targets. Um, if I can't get close enough, I'm just going to die. So what we want to do with this one is get in close enough that we can make a kill. I'm using the uh, cover and concealment of this ditch to hopefully get me close enough. try to conserve my um, stamina. Oh, there's somebody running over there. Which way did they go? I do not want to get taken out. Could be coming around behind me here. That looks like a scav. If he looks over here, I'm gone. Now, what are the chances I can actually get up on him? turns around and comes back, I'm done. Good. We'll use the concealment of that shack. Is he going up the ramp? Yep. So as long as he doesn't turn around, he starts shooting at me from the ramp, I'm done. I don't know what if this is gonna get me any good or what. I don't know what this does. I don't know if there's any loot in there. There's somebody talking. And if he comes down there, my toast. Here walking. I cannot tell where it is. I should go into that garage there. 
but I think if I stay out here, I'm exposed and I'm going to die, so here we go. don't know this area of the parking lot. Usually, inside the parking lot somewhere, you come across a escalator, stairwell. Nice if I could find a pistol to go with some ammo, you know. I don't know if he's shooting at me or somebody else. I think they're shooting at someone else. The shooting is off to the far right. that fire. It's like a burn barrel or something. Tents have pr 
probably have some loot in them. Might have a scav too. Magazine of some kind. <sighs> now, without a rig, it won't let me pick it up. Come on, let's find a pistol, please. Let's arm that. Arm that. Frags, a frag and a flashbang. Ah, here's that construction area I was talking about. will get me up into the mall. So if I can get up here without being discovered. Nope. <laughs> Ow, that was bad. Careful and not fall this time. There is just an opening. pretty badly. strike. It's like right there. Stand up, you might see me and shoot me. Probably should have saved those frags, but. Here, they're right here. I'm gonna strike, but I gotta hit them in the head for it to actually do anything. 
that leg injury, I don't know that I'm going to be able to run at all. Won't let me heal that leg. It's just gone. smoke grenade. I need him to attack me. Get close enough. I can strike him in the head. Yeah, I cannot go very far, I can't run. Try to extract, but really, I need him to come attack me so I can get his weapons. Sounds like he's just around the corner. I'm gonna aim for the head. shot off. <laughs> oh, I might have been better off with the uh, hatchet, but... Okay, well that was uh, Hatchet Runs on Interchange. I want to thank you all for joining me. And uh, let's just take a look at the final points here, how we did. But that patience on the corner waiting for him to come around. Headshot with the axe. 35 points is all it took. And we did get a little bit of loot. Hindsight, uh, maybe I could have saved those grenades. You know, sell them for seven to 10,000 rubles each. But we did get a smoke grenade out of it and some other parts. And that was it. No cash. But 
these smoke grenades sell for, you know, 4,000. I'll easily be able to put that up for 42. Oh, oh, it's too much. Go. Okay, everybody, this is uh, Monty Ree playing Escape from Tarkov as Hectoplasm. Thanks for joining me for Hatchet Runs on Interchange. Have a great day.